Um, I know it's a couple minutes early, but I owe you some time from the last two videos. Well, the last one ran a little over. The one before, we started late. So we're starting a little earlier tonight, mainly because we have some issues to deal with that I don't know how long it will take. So we will get into it as early as possible. I am not sure if people are going to get the notifications one time or if they're going to be waiting for 8 o'clock. But we have to get down into this if we're going to make sense out of this nonsense at all. It's Tuesday, the 18th of July, 2017. And while we're waiting for everyone else to get on board and to share the video and to let everybody know we're here. Special good evening to both Keith Rowley and Kamla Pasad Bissessa and to all of their advisors who resting home. Clearly, you're following this video. I just want to read that. When my boy Kurt Allen says some playing wrong chord for spite, I don't know if you all understand the genius that is Kurt Allen, you know. I mean, Kurt Allen is a bloody genius, you know. This man don't write one word out of place, you know. Study Kurt Allen. Study David Rudder. Study them fellas' lyrics, you know. Lyrics better than lyrics I hear anywhere else in the world, any other genre of music, you know. Kurt Allen. I want to read something. There are so many posts on this wall. Sorry, ah, find it quick. Now listen to this, eh? Some play wrong chord for spite. 
I told you all today that we're spending $50 million a year in salaries for the House of Representatives. $50 million. And I ask a question. If we're paying them $50 million a year and they cannot solve a single solitary problem, why are we still paying them? Why are they still in our employ? They come to you masquerading through political time and tell you what they will do, what they could do, what they promised to do. And when they get into office, they do nothing. Games. Hear this. Hear this. And tell me, tell me tonight where the commissioner of police and the director of public prosecutions are. Because I want you to hear what I'm about to read. And tell me if this is not a failed state. Tell me if this is not the Royal Imperial Majestic Banana Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. This is in the news. On January 29th, new information came to light after police received a packet containing telephone records detailing text communication from two senior People's National Movement PNM members and another person. Both members of the PNM hold high office today. In January, the Sunday Express also received that packet, which included a message dated January 28, 2015, with a PNM heavyweight, now a senior government member, saying, Statement submitted to the Director of Public Prosecutions. Pursue a DPPN. Explosive. If you squeeze Gary Griffith, you're on. He mentioned in the statement, he can confirm an approach, says he will not lie. Now, One to cuss. The cup says it all. Who is this senior member that insinuated that somebody in the People's National Movement who were then in the opposition could have pursued at the DPP's end? What is the DPP's end? What does pursue mean? He says it's explosive. If you squeeze Gary Griffith, you're on. I call Gary today. I said, I tell you, these PNM people are going to make as much a jackass of you as the UNC people made a jackass of you. I told Gary Griffith that today. I told him, if ever you were going to stand up and defend yourself in all of this foolishness, now is the time. But brother, Gary, you're on your own, you know. Because you seem to think that these boys fail. But they're not. They're using you. But I want to read that again because both members of the PNM hold high office today. And I want to know, what is Stephen Williams' job? What is his job? Is he paid to dress up in khaki and parade? What is Stephen Williams' job? But I want to say this again. I want to read this again because it, this is explosive. Not their thing. This. This is from one PNM member to another copy to third person statement submitted to the dpp pursue a dppn explosive if you squeeze gary griffith you're on he mentioned in the statement he can confirm and an approach says he will not lie that means this person spoke to gary griffith before it was sent to the dpp because he could confirm and an approach i don't know what that means i'm assuming it is the then attorney general but the, but, the, but the paragraph, the text, all of these, today's what day? Today's Tuesday. All of these mocking pretenders should be wearing state-sponsored bracelets tonight. This is misbehavior in public office at the highest level. When these sons of bitches put their hands on holy books, that's theater, I do swear, by the Gita, by the Quran, by the Holy Bible, I do swear by this month's edition of Cosmo, of Glamour, of Seventeen. What the hell is going on in this country? Hear this again. Both members of the PNM hold high office today. Did Keith Rowley and Kamala discuss this in this underwhelming meeting that took place today that not even the Ministry of Communication thought was whelming enough was so underwhelmed not even the ministry of communication put out a release saying talking points what the prime minister the leader of the opposition discussed not even them care the guardian didn't put out anything the express didn't put out anything nothing kamala and keith got together today to pose posture 
pontificate, play for the media. Click, click, smile. Nonsense. Nothing of value. Nothing of substance. Did they, they discuss this? This is bordering on high treason. This is misbehaving public office to pervert the court of course of justice in the parliament. What more we need? Calm down, Philip. The people don't like you shouting. Both members of the PNM hold high office today. In January, the Sunday Express also received that packet, which included a message dated January 28, 2015, with a PNM heavyweight, now a senior government member. Who is this person? The police received the packet. So the police knows. The police knows. The commissioner of police knows. And the director of public prosecutions, they are telling you he knows. And they are saying that screw the separation of powers. That you could, you could pursue at the DPP end. What does that mean? I am afraid for my country. If politicians could pursue at the DPP end. Roger Gaspar, the director of public prosecutions, has to come out now and put out a statement and explain to the people of Trinidad and Tobago who pay his salary. What do they mean by pursue at the DPP end? Who has that access to the DPP? Statement submitted to the DPP, director of public prosecutions. Pursue at DPP end, explosive. If you squeeze Gary Griffith on, he mentioned in the statement he could confirm and an approach, says he will not lie. Look at the madness in that little paragraph. Look at the total and complete madness. Senior opposition members then, one I'm sure was a senator, trust me, a vex now, you know, because Trinidad and Tobago is being raped by the political investor financer class. But when Timothy Hamilton called me last week to say, did you hear what Stuart Young just said in the parliament? Stuart Young just accused the other side of deliberately switching off national security. And that is high treason. Gary Griffith says Stuart didn't know what he was talking about. But whose job it is to investigate that? This is total and complete madness. How do you have a situation where a senior PNM member talking to two other people, one of them another senior PNM member, and saying that he has already spoken to Gary Griffith, who was then the Minister of National Security. He is speaking about the then Attorney General. He's conspiring to have the Attorney General removed from office. And he's going to use the Minister of National Security. He says in this that the Minister of National Security knows. And he's already agreed to play ball. That's what he's saying about Gary Griffith, that Gary has agreed to play ball. And that now they've sent it to the DPP. All the ducks are in a row. So you, whoever you are that receiving this, whoever is that big guy that have the authority over the DPP, we need to know. Because he's being told, pursue it at the DPP end. It also shows that senior politicians had inside knowledge of what West's report contained. That Griffith was named in that report and what Griffith, then a member of government, had said in the report. This is confidential police reports they're talking about, you know. This is government and opposition having access to police reports. Confidential police reports. Who is the police officer that had custody of these reports that leaked it in the public space or to these people? It also shows, now West's report, if you don't know, David West, who is now the Police Complaints Authority head is alleging that is now a subject of a police matter that is dragging on till Christ comes back. Because we don't deal with matters in this country effectively or quickly. We drag them on. David West's grandchildren will be trying to get into Arbor School while this matter still drags on. And they'll be interrupting it in the news. Shelly Das grandchild together with Samson Anton Churon will be talking about how Email gate still being investigated in the Royal Imperial Majestic Banana Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Brought to you by Ansa Petrotrin. Those days coming. Another story. Another time. Focus on this. 
Because I'm making joke to tell you our country is broken. Our country is broken at the level of leadership, of government, of parliament. Our government is broken at the highest levels of high public office. And we, the people of Trinidad Tobago, have to wake up. We have to wake up. This is no longer something that could be allowed to pass. This is not just an express Pelter, story, Pelter Stone story. This is treason, misbehaving, public office, all kind of mad crimes. This is abdication of responsibility by law enforcement. What is going on? This is corruption at the highest level. Senior politicians have inside knowledge of what West's report contained. David West is alleging that Anand Ram Logan offered David West the position of direct chairman of the Police Complaints Authority in exchange for David West changing a witness statement, perverting the course of justice. That is that crime. Conspiracy to, convert, to, con to pervert the course of public justice. David West is the PCA director. Alan Ram Logan had something to do with that. Was a deal made? Was a deal made between David West and Alan Ram Logan? Did David West renege on the deal and went public or, made, uh, or used the deal that he made with Anand? Because how does David West still continue to be PCA director if he got it in exchange for a bribe? Because he's alleging that it's a bribe. And if you still have it, how did you get it? It also shows that senior politicians had ins and, and you know what else they allege? They allege that Anand Ram Logan called Gary Griffith and asked Gary Griffith to check up on Wes. Wes is your partner. All of these are the allegations. And that's what Wes alleges. It also shows that senior politicians have inside knowledge of what West's report contained. That Griffith was named in that report and what Griffith, then a member of government, he was the Minister of National Security, had said in the report. In another text, one man who now holds a top government position says he was working on providing the receiver of the text with West's report that went to the Director of Public Prosecution. How was he working on that? Pursuing it at the DPP's end? How was this senior PNM member working on that? The senior PNM official also seemed to have inside knowledge of the then government's operations. Sources at the Ministry of Communication said the statement was drafted to remove the AG and the Minister of National Security. This is where Vasant Bharat comes into the story. Because Vasant Bharat misbehaved in public office and crafted a lie and published a lie as the Minister of Communications at an untruth that he knew was untrue. And it is when Gary Griffith promised, sent him a, a pre-action protocol letter. This is what went on in government. But the police are yet to charge Vasant Bharat with misbehaving in public office. Why hasn't the police investigated and charged Vasan Barrett for misbehaving in public office? The same jackass Vasan Barrett who all over the media pontificated like he's a paragon of virtue was part of a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. Sources at the Ministry of Communication said the statement was drafted to remove the AG and the Minister of National Security. One senior PNM member said in a text, dated January 31st, 2015, to another person. Are oh, you tell me why this nation should have to suffer one more day of these two corrupt and deviant organizations? Tell me why the Commission and Police and the DPP are not working overtime to bring all of these mocking pretenders from both sides to justice. Plots and counterplots, Machiavellian machinations where governance should be. The people deserve much, much better than this.
indeed this is where we are tonight the Prime Minister the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition met today to discuss issues in the public space so groundbreaking that the Ministry of Communication did not follow up with a release. Now I watched just enough of his live video after the press after the stunt, the PR stunt him and Kamala had to hear them say that they're copying the PEP, they're stealing the ideas. And I you know what? We're gonna deal with that. I'm not seeing anything from the Express or the Guardian on these issues. Internal self-government for Tobago, campaign finance reform, anti-gang legislation, difficulty with the judiciary, the integrity commission, service commission's effectiveness, code of conduct for members of parliament. That was the agenda. He came out today with how to deal with the commissioner of police office. And how did he plan to deal with the commissioner of police office? He is going to steal the PEP's idea to undo and redo. And you know what? I said steal the idea. But there are more ideas that you could steal. But I've been asking questions because I posted sarcastically today. Only in a banana republic can something so simple as the concept of drainage, mastered by ancient civilizations thousands of years ago, could still come across as magic, could still defeat our every attempt at a solution, and could still leave our people marooned and stranded every time the rain falls. 
It's almost as if each time the rain falls, it's falling for the first time. Imagine if tomorrow you went outside and unicorns were falling from the sky. Unicorns or, or vamanas from the ancient Sanskrit Bhagavad Gita. Imagine if meteors were falling because we behave as if every time rain falls, this is the first time we're experiencing this. Sunny with a side of meatballs, remember that? Surely we could have turned our most talented wizards and magicians to the task of solving the problem of managing this unheralded water that falls from the sky every time the sky is turned black. How is it that we are spending in excess of $60 billion a year on a postage stamp size country of 1.3 million people and still end up a failed state. How is that possible? I asked a question the other day and nobody caught what I was asking because I asked if you set out to fail and you succeed, what have you done? It's almost as if they set out to fail and they're succeeding at it. How do we not understand a simple a concept as drainage? Now, I know that every creed and race finds an equal place in trans, but we have a race of people called jackasses. They are different. They, are, they, they come in all colors, all sizes. And let's just refer to them as jackasses. Because every now and then, jackasses will tell you where I want the, the water to go, tide high. And I want to tell the jackasses, New Orleans and Holland are permanently under sea level. Permanently. And they're not the only ones. But they are the examples that they would know. And Holland has been managing their drainage for a thousand years. Permanently under sea, water, sea level. They have nothing like low tide. The water outside always higher than the water inside. Do you know that the Romans invented something called an aqueduct that took water up and over mountains? Do you know that these jackasses that have this p &M education that went to school to count the teacher's fillings as the teacher cocked back in the chair, mouth open and dribbling, teaching them nothing but foolishness, reading nonsense, Telling themselves they're getting educated by standing up on the corner and listening to what your mommy tell your papi. So once the tide high and rainfall, we're dead. We need meisters, grand meisters. We need magicians. We need wizards to come and solve this problem because nowhere else on planet Earth does water fall from the sky. Just here. Just here. Kamala didn't solve it. Keith is not solving it. Patrick didn't solve it. Basdeo didn't solve it. Robbie didn't solve it. Chambers didn't solve it. Williams didn't solve it. But stick a pin right there. Because somebody put a post today, Lord, bring back Manning, bring back Pandey, bring back the Iron Lady. And I'm, I wanted to ask the person, because it was a woman, I wanted to ask her what birth control she was using. Because I had a sponsor for her for the rest of her life. Because she... She shouldn't be allowed to breed. People like that shouldn't be making children. If you can't think rationally, you shouldn't be trusted with other people's lives. And I would sponsor you your birth control just to keep you from passing them genes on. Because the reality of the situation, the problems that we are experiencing today are not new. And Kid Rowley may be an arrogant jackass that you hate to listen to. And I know because I listened to two and a half minutes of a press conference and I had enough. In fact, I wanted to go and get a drink after. This man is, is, so, is, is such a labor to listen to him talk. You could tell that he is struggling, running around inside of the rooms in his empty head, trying to string coherent sentences together. And I understand because not everybody set out to be everything. I am not a good mason. I am not a good carpenter. Not everybody could be everything. But how is it that billions, they have had by water, lock joint, I mean, that was in Eric Williams' days. Eric Williams' days. We've been spending 
hundreds of millions of dollars enriching contractors and we only know one thing to make we have a whole john donaldson technical institute well they all know utt and we're giving people degrees in engineering but it seems that the only water management engineering we know is a concrete drain we only know to make a concrete drain catch it here and take it there and follow the gradient of the land that's all we know how to do Kamala made people millionaires with box drains. They have people who've built box drains twice and three times in the same community in one and two years. And that's all we know to do. So today, Jackass 1 and Jackass 2, and I am sorry, listen, eh? I don't understand how people look at me every night. I expect to get new people coming. To, let me see what this cat talking about. And I expect that. But there are people who watch me religiously every night. And okay, I love you back. But, but my message is not, I am not coming to blow smoke up your ass. I'm not coming to tell you everything's going to be all right. It's not. If you don't intervene, if you don't get involved, if you don't open your mind, open your eyes, if you don't stand up and speak out, if you don't unite and vote out these two mocking pretenders, these two corrupt cancerous organizations that have destroyed this nation and sentenced your children to lives of desperation and squalor, if you don't get involved, it's not going to be all right. It's not. Our reality is our reality is you need to be speaking out every time Keith Rowley open his mouth, every time Kamala open her mouth, forget the people they bring in in the maxi taxi, go in the Monday night forum and pop your hand say Kamala, you didn't know this when you was in office every time one of these mocking pretenders, short, young and his bullshit that, that, that dribbles from his mouth every time he opens his mouth, listen I expect people to come to see what I have to say. To, to, I'm giving you honey, but you had to get some vinegar. This nation spoiled. We can't handle drainage. Do you know that we spent hundreds of millions of dollars to do something called the salt water fire hydrant project that never worked? On, in front of our office on Stanmore Avenue, there is a fire hydrant, a salt water fire hydrant that the Port of Spain City Corporation that is in charge of the wrecking knows has not worked, has not been functional for almost 20 years. But if you park in front of it, they wreck your car. So it is a non-functional hunk of iron that we've spent hundreds of millions of dollars on. We, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, have allowed this to happen. But I understand, I understand, nothing happens before it's time. This is the time now. If, with all of this wealth of information that encouraged Paolo to come and sit down in the grass and Aranguez and join the conversation, I've seen videos coming out now, and, and at least I'll take a week off and let y'all digest all them other videos, because they're coming out a mile a minute and I want to say, it's okay, but at least have an authentic message. It's okay to come and call everybody jackass. I do it every night. Everybody is jackass. Fine. But if you can't offer a solution, what's the point of you? Why am I listening to you? I know the jackasses already. What are you telling me? What do you bring to the table? Give me an option. Give me an idea, a program, a plan, a policy. Give me something to get behind. I say, yes, I vote for that man. Or I'll vote for who he said to vote for. But if you just want to come out and cuss and pose, What's the good of you? The purpose of this video every night is to come outside and tell people, listen, Rome burning, but it could fix. Our plans are revolutionary. Everybody just tried to trip me up. What's your plan for this? What's your plan for that? We have a plan for everything. We are actually right now convening a team of technocrats. We are building a team of technocrats right now to start putting together the manuals to do the work we promised to do, to decentralize the power of government to the constituencies and abolish the regional health corporations and regional health authorities 
to, to, to abolish local government, to abolish the THA, to abolish how the police is presented. We don't have people getting together work on that, to deal with the, with the 10-year schools, no SEA, abolish that, put a grade point average and zone the schools. We have people getting together to write the legislation so that the government could give everybody a, 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 a guarantee that as long as you have a job, you could own a home. That even a minimum wage earner could access money in this country to buy or build a house. That we will encourage the development of low-income houses, low-cost houses, so that people can afford to buy. We will remove duty and VAT and any cost that is ours to control. We will subsidize construction material so that the average person and basic construction material, not marble floors and gold faucets, so that the average person could own a home. We have plans, we have programs, we have ideas. How will you deal with the jail? We want to lick down the royal jail in Port of Spain. I hear Kamala wanted to put a museum floating on top of it. Because somebody must see that on a TV show. This is the reality of our dysfunction today. That the, the both parties, the PNM and the UNC, have been caught with their pants and the drawers by their ankles because they didn't expect a progressive empowerment party to come and they didn't expect such a wealth of knowledge and they didn't expect the people to pick it up so they tell you all kind of thing about Philip so you can spit Philip out but every time they call my name audience get bigger I watched somebody bad talk me last night on TV6 News web page and I go to complain to the editor and I see 28,675 followers. I say, wait now, I have 35,000 followers. I have more followers than TV6 News. I don't need to complain to them. Miss me with that bullshit. Carry on. Because the people who need, and I told Jai Parastram and I wrote it publicly because Jai is an elder statesman, a medium. I'm, I know him through the media. Jai has my respect. I said, Jai, how come fake profiles created by the UNC to assassinate my character are your friends? How are you involved in that? Jai said, Phil, I have no idea. He's been messaging me all day. He said, I have nothing to do with the UNC. I am retired. I am living abroad. Please accept my apologies. I said, Jai, we good. We good. And there are plenty of people in the UNC that messaging me to say we're coming across. And I want to tell you, all of you who are playing behind the scenes, go and form a party called Behind the Scenes. We are the progressive empowerment party. If you want to be involved here, don't put one toe in the pool and say we was always there. Come now. Come now when we walk in, we tail off the build it. So that when it's ham and jam time, you can eat and smile. We're not in this for nonsense. And I don't mind that Keith Rowley today stole my idea. I don't mind that. What I mind is that those two political parties, those two, the 41 that's sitting in the parliament, that costing us $50 million a year, have not solved a single solitary problem that this country faces ever. The jail system was, the justice system was, the police service was, the hospital was, the education was, jobs was, food production was. The only people that winning is the 1%. And not everybody who reaches a 1% there. Yeah? When I talk about the 1%, I talk about the bandit clan that using political connections to enrich themselves and like themselves. Like the man who just buying up them, boy. When I tell you, when I tell you, but no, light candle, light incense, go and make puja, pray, progressive empowerment party, don't see government, you know, pray, pray, because I will follow you to the end of the earth, I will take and sell all them fancy car and all them fancy apartment you're buying with the people money and put it back in the treasury, and if you watch me hard with jail your ass, it is time to end the corruption that is causing our people to kill each other. Every one of these politicians are responsible for every murder that takes place in this country because they masquerading as governance, giving you politics in your ass 12 months out of the year. Nothing they do in his governance. To this day, Faris al Rawi has not done one thing to deserve his salary. Not one. We have dysfunctional law. The Progressive Empowerment Party tells you we will convene legislators and legislation and lawyers to go into our laws. We, we, are, we want to convene a panel of judges, retired judges, lawyers, foreign technocrats. Come and look at our laws. We have laws from 500 years ago, still law in this country. We copy and paste all the laws of England. Do you know that the vehicle on the road, still to this day by law, that have the most right away, that 
that police, ambulance, and fire and all have to stop for, even the president have to stop for it, is the mail truck. You know that? That is the law of Trinidad and Tobago. And to those who worry about the PNM stealing the PEP plans, they're stealing low hanging fruit. They will never do what we want to do. Ask Keith Rowley and Kamala every single day. Why? You're talking crime and gang. Build the bloody maritime security wall, no man. Unstuff the containers. Or they will shut Philip up. Shut him up. I'm telling all you. Shut Philip Edward Alexander up. Shut him up. Build the maritime wall. Bring the Americans and the British to run it. Bring them here to run it. So no more guns and drugs pass through the country and stuff the containers. Bring the Koreans and the Singaporeans to run that. So no more drugs and guns coming through the country. Bring them here. And now, go and hire Bill Bratton. Bill Bratton, how much money you want? A hundred million dollars a year? Look it. Because you can save we money because we're spending nine billion dollars now for the bullshit we get in. For a commissioner of police that cannot tell us what the hell his job is. He cannot approve a gun license of 7,000 people waiting. He cannot enforce the law against all these people who are raiding and raping the treasury. No fraudsters, none of these criminals are being brought to justice. So we don't understand what is his job. Bring Bill Bratton and tell Bill, listen, zero tolerance, broken windows. You know what they would do? They would shut down all of those police stations that we have all over the place for police to line and put the police in the community, in your car and on your feet. And if you don't want that job, go and get a next job. But don't tell me that you do not want to be a police officer that is continuously trained and tested. Because you have to be. You have to be. And if you're overweight as a police officer, you shouldn't be in law enforcement unless you bring a letter from a doctor saying, he have a condition. And then we'll put you behind a desk. Our truth, our reality, is this nation is broken for spite, deliberately, by design. It is broken deliberately and by design. A, a, a prestige school position in the SEA. Ever see how their mothers just post on Facebook? Oh God, the GT! How you could GT in a country where the other 19,000 children didn't GT, so they come to rob your child when all of them grow up. How is that a GT? Eh? Why common sense escapes us as people? Why we cannot learn that as long as one of our people don't have, none of us safe? Why can't we understand that concept? That it is in our best interest that all the children of the nation, GT, prestige for all. Why can't we understand that? What is so broken in us? There are so many people who think police must be paid dog salary. And I tell them I want to see my police inspectors and sergeants driving BMW. I want to give them incentive and motivation. I want to tell them when you go and lock up a big shot bandit who steal $500 million and it come back in, brother, look your cut. Look your cut. Once we convict, prosecute, and jail their ass, we get back the money. Look your cut. Let him be an exemplar. To all the other police in the why the police inspector driving a Rolls Royce? Well, boy, he lock up a drug lord. He bring back a billion dollars, so they gave him a ten million. John Michael Reese, GTA is get true. I, you're not a Trinidadian. GTA is a Trinidadian slang. It is short for a get true. But you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Our police officers, our soldiers, our coast guard, the men and women without stripes, the lowest ranks incentivize the job motivate them to go above and beyond the court that is their job anyway kiss my ass that is not their job police officers law enforcement they wake up every single day and come out of the house kiss their wife and children and their husband and the children goodbye and not knowing if they could see them again at the end of the day to come and protect you so stop being so disgusting if there is a way to reward them and get the job done clap Unless you have a better idea, hush!
We need to pay those people better. We need to pay teachers better. At the end of every year, the teacher, the school that get the highest improvement in their GPA collective get some massive bonus. The teacher whose class is the best improvement, massive bonus. Spoil that teacher. Drive to school in a convertible BMW. Living nice on the hill. These are the people you need to reward. We're treating these people like dogs, hiring from the lowest gene pool we could find and wanting them to make our children better. How is that possible? What is broken in us? Who did this number on us? The police and the teachers are very important. Left to me, people like the Four Roads Fire Station, every year they get some kind of massive bonus, party and reward and, and all kind of thing. Then fellas just work hard, boys and girls in Four Roads Fire Station and go and see the dumpy little facility they're operating from. Go and see. i sure if you go inside there, you'll feel shame. And then working hard. So why we can't reward the people who are working hard so that everybody says, I want that too. Why can't get there? Why we can't want better for everybody? Why as a nation we can't say we want everybody eating nice? We want everybody liking themselves. We want everybody enjoying their life. Why we why that can be us? Tell me I I trying to understand. Our teachers are our most important people. Our police, we are important now. Our prisons officers. Our prisons officers, let me tell you something. Those are the people that need to get Shaconia Gold and Trinity Cross. I don't understand how our jails do erupt. They are insane. What just happened with this woman? My eyes is here. And all those cases that have to restart. That is human rights violation. That, that, that frustrates all human rights. It is insane what was allowed to happen there. This country is broken at every level. Today, people were prepared, had drops put in their eyes and sedated for cataract surgery in San Fernando and all get cancelled. What madness. And the man in charge of that hospital still have a job. If that was my employee, they'd be fired so fast. They reach home and the shadow still here. How the hell that person still have a job? How? How you could do that to people? And how do we allow this to continue and tell ourselves, well, she nice and locked hair straight like me like brown skin and things i will vote for she government is not an reward it's not a reward if you want to do something nice for somebody take them out to dinner don't put them in public office that is not a reason because you like keith rowley i like how he does talk go online with him he will talk all night don't make him prime minister how we took a pharmaceutical rep and made him minister of health. How is that normal? The man is a pharmaceutical rep and a failed one at that. The only thing he brings to the table is the connections to the big import drug importers. It is insane what is going on in this country. We have had two ministers of education that couldn't read and couldn't speak. One wanted to change the paradigms and the other one wanted to give our children breakfasts. The Progressive Empowerment Party is already discussing, shortlisting who might be the best person for the best position to deliver based on program plans with timelines and deliverables, already estimating budgets. What is the return on investment? How do you consider it a win? Where is the win? Because you must know your end game. Uh, this guy, Paul Keynes Douglas, is telling you, before you start, know how you're finishing. You ever eat a bad kalalu? If you never eat a bad kalalu, because if you eat a bad kalalu, you will understand. That is somebody who started that dish without knowing how they were supposed to finish. I eat a kalalu once that was crunchy and it had no crab in it. Not every... Listen, we need to be 
in a place where we the people of Trinidad and Tobago see each other as brothers and sisters. You could be black till you're blue. I don't, I listen. You could be rich, you could be poor. I grew up one way. People is people. If you said jackass, haul your ass. I have no time for jackasses. And that's why Anel Roberts, nobody, he never had friends. Because he's a jackass from small. Don't be a jackass. That is, that is my religion. Don't be a jackass. And yes, somebody told me today, Kern Crosby said, Philip, everybody does wrong. Everybody piss people off in their life. Everybody make mistakes. And he's right. Kern Crosby is correct. I make my share of mistakes and five other people own. I, I own that. But the name of the game is to not continue to make those mistakes. When you were a little baby learning to walk, you fell a couple times. But the goal was to stop falling. The day you stop falling, you're walking. I never, ever said I was a saint. I am brilliant. I am apparently good looking and some say I'm charming. But I never said I was a saint and I had to make mistakes. You know why? Because I had to crawl my way up on top of this mountain that they set. Because let me tell you something. Again. I come from far. With all of my advantages, I come from far. And that is why I have a, such a heart for the people of Morva, Bitam, Lavantel, and Silots. Because they don't have the advantages I have. So I don't know how do they get over this mountain. I don't know. Somebody needs to break that mountain down. That's government's job. You cannot blame a man for his condition. You cannot. That is government's job. When Keith Rowley spoke this nonsense about weaning the people off of government, the people he's supposed to wean is his little Syrian partner and, and, and his wife who making all them contracts and taking all them hundreds of millions of dollars. That is who you need to wean. Not the average person. They own the money. The people of this country own this country, Keith Rowley. It belongs to them. You are their employee. You are their manservant. You are the person they put there and say, listen, take care of this shit. And if you can't take care of this shit, fire yourself. Fire yourself. But don't pontificate and summon the media and I'll be having a meeting with the opposition. You'll kiss my ass with that. You're a shit on and a shit snake. And I don't mind telling Trinidad Tobago that you and Peter Pan al Rawi. You and Peter Pan al Rawi making a mockery of government in this country. Leaving poor Stuarty boy. Stuarty, I know how else to lie again. When he dead and he, if he reach up by St. Peter, he had plenty to come for you. Know? Only was send Stuarty boy to hell for some stupid, stupid lies. Our reality, Trinidad and Tobago, our, it is inescapable now. Rome is burning. Rome is burning. That is the truth. When everybody tell you that in their videos, Rome is burning, they're not lying. I want to tell you, it don't have to burn down. It could fix. We could fix it. We have to want to fix it. Yeah? That's our truth. Thank you. 
Thank you for Lysia Holy and Ali G. All the rest who was part of that conspiracy. To show your patriotism. Country is facing its darkest hour. And our people need us even more than ever. In our fight to recover. If, if ever you feel to surrender, that wonderful thing that I want you to always remember. Leroy Callis, the black Stalin, is telling you is that, and I have said this before, all of the nations in the world that work, none of them are like that by accident. Every one of them went through their birth pains. Trinidad is in labor. The water, what is it? The water break? We, we there. It crowned men. We, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, have the power in our hands right now to turn this whole thing around by standing up for our people, for our communities. The Progressive Empowerment Party tells you one thing consistently. Rebuild our communities and you will save the country because a nation is a collection of communities. All of the work that we want to do, all of our policies, all of our programs, all of our promises is at the constituency level. We want to remove the power of government from the cabinet and put it in the hands of a board of supervisors in the constituency. Every constituency has its own board of supervisors. So if you're having a problem with water in your constituency, that's where the squeaky wheel is. That's where the grease had to go. Education, healthcare, public works, public utilities and security dealt with, funded at the constituency level. Nothing else makes sense. Nothing else makes sense. To have a centralized Minister of Transport is a joke. The Minister of Transport cannot sit up in Port of Spain and know what is the needs of the people in Tacarigua, Cedros, Tobago, West and Diego Martin. He cannot know. And that is why our nation is a mess. All our roads is a mess. The Minister of Works and Transport cannot know, but I know my constituency. And if my responsibility is smooth roads, keep voting my ass into office because you could, your roads smooth. And your education system working, your children doing well, keep voting that person. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. If you have not yet downloaded the PP app, it is, it's there. Um, Maya or Cindy or any of you that are on the thread who can share the app into the thread, please share the app into the thread because we want as many people as possible to have the app because the app will give you the opportunity not only to message and talk to your fellow peppers, but it will keep you in the loop and informed as to what's going on. We plan to be putting out a message a day to let you know the pep plan. Also, we'll be able to debunk any bacchanal going on in the country, all the rumors. You check your phone, pep will tell you, that's nonsense, that's foolishness. Like we were able to tell you, heavy rains coming, maybe some gusty winds, because Eric Mackey said, don't take them on, stop the panic, stop the rumor mongering, stop the bullshit. We're going forward as a nation. Don't hold it up. Yes, yes, what was the problem? Yes, we start making very positive moves to solve them. We fire the old set of managers, we had walking. And it's a new group. We went and we bring it. And if we could still require them, new managers not so blind. When the election time comes back from this new ones we bring in. The app is not on any of the stores yet. The team working on that. The app is one day. 
This is what's in the car. So, if you want our reality to change, you have to get beyond talk, likes, and shares. I love that you do that. You have to make donations. We need help. We do not want, nor do we have any deep pocket 1% finances. We are going to build this on our own. We have set as our targets 41. We are not the UNC with the 27 seats. We have set as our target 41 properly set up and run constituency executives. The Progressive Empowerment Party is going to contest all 41 seats in the next general election. We have set as our target 500,000 members. That is our goal. Above that is gravy. But we've set a target over the next couple months, 500,000 members. We have a mission to raise $15 million to be ready to fight an election. And you have to be a part of this. This groundbreaking, earth-shaking revolution of the people, revolution of hearts and minds that's going to change this country and make it so much better that people from abroad and from in the Caribbean will be practicing the Trinidad and Tobago accent to lie and say they're from here. We will consider it a win when we could cut out all our burglar proofing and throw it away. We will consider it a win when people in cold countries line up in the snow four o'clock in the morning to get a visa to come to your dad. We will consider it a win when none of our people go hungry, where all of our people have a bed to sleep at night and a roof over their head. That will be a win to the progressive empowerment party. We need to go there. That should be all of our goals. We're having a barbecue next month. That information is on the wall soon. Sign up on the PP page now. There's a PP page on Facebook and all of the information is there. Yeah? When you're voting, Together again. Put them out of power. Terminate their aim. Let's put our country together again. From this Saturday, the PP is starting a clock. Tick tock, tick tock. We're starting a clock to elections to fire these bands of mocking pretenders. Red crapo, yellow crapo, same handful of salt. We want to make sure that we scrub down the parliament after. Black disinfectant, remove all trace of the madness that went on in this country. All the corridors of power. We will clean Trinidad and Tobago. Make them a memory, a hurtful, painful, disgusting memory of a bad, sad time in our history. In for 30 years. Promising your roads 
Susan, give me your phone. If they are the reason why the economy could sprout, when you're voting. Let them get out. Fire them. Fire Paris. Fire Keith. Fire Kamala. Fire Suruj and Rudal. Fire Stuarty Boy. Fire Rumpaman and Phone Girl. Fire all. Fire them. Put them out of the parliament. Get an election. Let us call an election. And fire all. Is a fallacy. Geography, a catastrophe. If they cannot work, and you see it so, then your only hope is for them to go. If it is fabrication, fabrication, all the statements that they spout when they're voting. A foreign news Trinidad's message man. Ask me where is black disinfectant. Where they come from? Now what they doing you know? Use out teeth out, sell out and digs out. Vote them out. Vote them out. Them and their system. Vote it out. Vote them and the bandit clan out. Vote them and the pirates and the parasites out. Vote them out. From the top down, left, right, north, west, east, and south. Vote them out. Vote them out. Vote them out. Vote them and the pretenders out. The friends and family who get in state contracts. Vote them out. Vote them nonsense into oblivion. Fire them. Fire them. Ask them to stand up, call their name, and fire them. It is time the people of Trinidad and Tobago exerted their responsibility as citizens in a democracy. And job one, fire them. People must come first. People must come first. Citizens by right. Citizens by right. None are we are None are we are worse. Yellow, Yellow, black, or white. Food, shelter, and clothes. Free movement and speech. A garden that grows. And one law for each. If it is that injustice is what they always show. One people under one flag. That's where we stand for. Must go. Register and vote them out. If they don't vote them out. Vote them out. Show them no mercy. Vote them out. Vote them out in total scum. When people ask you, what are our plans? To vote them out. Together again. Fire them. Red crapo. Real crapo. Same man for us all.
You want a better country for your loved ones. You want a better country for your parents. You want a better country for your children. You want a better country for yourself. You want a better nation. You want a place of hope and opportunity. You want a country where the communities work. You want a place where the cost of living is affordable. We want a nation where every creed and race could find an equal place. Equity and justice, all man, all women, all children. Same rights, same privileges, same freedoms. We want education that educates and healthcare that treats. We want a justice system and law enforcement that works. We want to make sure that every single citizen of the Great Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, once you are gainfully employed, regardless how humble, regardless of how humble your job, you must have a right to access funds to own a home. And we guarantee you that. We promise you that the legislature will make laws that gives you the power to determine what the parliament votes. That is what a referendum is. I told them today, we will not have a position on the death penalty. We will put it to a referendum. But if the people say they want a death penalty, we will empty death row. It is time for the nonsense to stop. I know there are some people in Tobago who don't like how I say it, but I'm saying this again. The THA is foolishness. Internal self-government for Tobago is foolishness. Tobago is either a part of Trinidad and Tobago or Tobago could take their independence. You either come in fully or you go out. There's one foot in, one foot out nonsense. That is foolishness. Designed to abuse you, to enslave your mind and make you feel that that is representation. It is not. Tobago should be the tourist capital of the world. It could be again. People in Tobago should be rich, making money off of tourism. They should be liking themselves. This thing about Massa, they done. It was never about Massa. Service is the number one industry in the world. And any job you have, your employer is Massa. So what is that? Foolishness. Eric Williams, twist we air. Piss and remind. Have we talking stupidness to one another? Walking down the road with hole in the pants. Half we shoes mash up and bust up, but we ain't had no massa. What foolishness is this? What nonsense? Enslave the people's minds and tell them you're free of them. What kind of ass backwards situation is that? Eh? What was that? What did they do? What did they do to us? Tell white people and black people and Indian people and Chinese people all all you don't get along. What madness is that? Crazy, crazy, crazy nonsense. Foolishness. And it is time to crush all of that up together and throw it in the dustbin. Crumple it up and throw it away. Those days have to go. All people, all citizens, everybody try to go. One people, one flag. All of us. And it's time to get back there. And we could do this in quick time. In quick time, the same way, Chakas number one went in the press conference today to say we're going to undo and redo the commissioner of police. At least you could listen. I give you points for listening. I give you points for telling them, for sensing a good idea when you hear it. Now, ask yourself, why does Faris have a job? Why do your three ministers of national security have a job? Why does Shorty Boy have a job? If none of them could come up with the idea, pay me. Pay the PEP, or better yet, vacate the office, let a real government come and run this country. How about that, Kitos? To the people who say down there, waiting for Kamala to come back, please, don't put God out your thoughts. Then people, the only thing they in teeth was milk and sugar out your morning coffee, and they come in for that too. Do not even for a minute think that that bandit clan, that bunch of, boy, let me tell you something now. They have nothing that we've gone through in our history that is as worse as the rape and the stripping that went on under Kamala Prasad Bissessa. And the only excuse that she could make is, well, it wasn't me. I did thief. Is the people wrong, man? But Kamala, you put them there. And you know what was Kamala? They're still there. So miss me with that bullshit now. You and Kid Raul is two sides of the same coin. Waste and waste. We have no time with that. To all the people who have not yet joined the PEP, join the PEP. PEP Trinbego are gmail.com we meet this saturday at noon 19 stanmore avenue come out bring mommy daddy children bring everybody it's their nice line bring mango and doubles and whoever you want to share come and be a part of the growing movement for change the progressive empowerment party our party is the only party whose name tells you what we do we are progressive in all our plans programs and policies that empower our people yeah get on board download the app see you I'm aiming for tomorrow at 8. Stay safe, Chiran Tobago.